I'll take a quick run through the roll. Um, in, addition, in addition to myself, we have Councilmember Gamble is here, O'Connell, Councilmember Parker, Vice Chair Rutherford, um, Councilmember Toombs, Van Reese, and Welsh. So that gives us eight for right now, and I'll mark others present if they arrive. Um, we. I have everything on our agenda for consent. Um, so if anyone can think of anything to pull, let me know. Uh, Council Member Parker, go ahead. Uh, I don't have the item number here, but the, the TIF uh, uh, item three. Yeah, and for that one, uh, we have a letter to defer. And so I was just oh, okay. gonna have it be on consent for deferral since we probably wouldn't discuss it anyway. Okay. Unless, unless, is that uh, from the sponsor? Unless yeah, anyone, that's, that's fine. We can discuss when. Unless you want to make a comment on it. No, yeah. we can we can do it when it comes back. When it comes Thank back you. Up. All right. Um, anything else? I'll go ahead and read through our captions um, to get us started. So. Re referral to. to approve on approve and then re refer. Alrighty, so I will pull item number one, but everything else I think will be on uh, consent. So starting with item number two under resolutions, resolution RS 2023-2200, sponsors are council members Roten, Withers, Syracuse, and others. This accepts a historic preservation fund for an underrepresented community grant from the U.S. Department of the Interior and National Park Service to Metro Government acting by and through the Historical Commission to develop a countywide historic context for Nashville and Davidson County's 20th century African American districts. And I know Councilmember Toombs has been working on a lot of those, so glad to have more of those in the pipeline, maybe. Item number three, resolution RS 2023-2201. Uh, the sponsors are council members Mendez, Roten, Withers, and Allen. This approves the activities and improvements eligible for tax and current financing in the Metro Development and Housing Agency Redevelopment Districts. This one's on consent for a deferral for two meetings, so we won't consider it today, but uh, probably don't need to discuss it. Uh, I'm sure we'll have lots of discussion when it comes back up. Item number four, resolution RS 2023-2217, the sponsors are Council Members Withers and Pulley, authorizes First Watch Restaurants, Inc. to construct, install, and maintain an aerial encroachment at 211 Commerce Street. Item number five, resolution RS 2023-2219, the sponsors are Council Members Henderson, Roten, Withers, and others, approves an option agreement between Metro Government and Friends of Warner Parks, authorizing the purchase of certain property owned by Friends of Warner Parks. <clears throat> uh, item number six, resolution RS 2023-2224, the sponsors are Council Members Roberts, Roten, Withers, and Pulley, approves a participant approves a participation agreement between Metro Government, acting by and through Metro Department of Water and Sewerages Services and Camden Development Inc. to provide stormwater infrastructure improvements through funding the design and construction of an improved stormwater system. Very important. Item number seven, resolution RS 2023-2225. The sponsors are Council Members Parker, Withers, and Pulley. Amends ordinance number BL 2022-1418 to authorize this metro government to accept additional sanitary sewer main hole to modify sanitary sewer main and associated easements for three properties located at 2135 and 2141 Waterside Drive and 2200 Bowline Avenue, <clears throat> also known as the landings at River North. Item number eight, resolution RS 2023 2226. The sponsors are Council Members Withers and Pulley. Amends ordinance number BL 2022 1079 to authorize Metro Government to accept additional public sanitary sewer main and sanitary sewer main hole for property located at 3631 Penhook Road, also known as Hobson Park. Item number nine, resolution RS 2023 2227. The sponsors are Council Members Withers and Pulley. Amends ordinance number BL 2022 1095 to authorize Metro Government to abandon existing public water main to modify the acceptance of, water, of public water and sanitary sewer mains and easements and to update the map and parcel information for one property located at 725 Tulip Grove Road, also known as Tulip Springs Townhomes. 
Moving on to bills on second reading, item number 10, ordinance bill 2023-1876, the sponsors are council members Evans, Roten, Withers, and Pulley. Authorizes the acquisition of certain right of way easements and property rights by negotiation or condemnation for use in public projects of the Metro government initially for purposes of the Nashville Department of Transportation and Multimodal Infrastructure Project Number 2022-R-2, which is the 2926 Melvin Road Culvert Replacement Project. Okay. Item number 11, Ordinance Bill 2023-1877, the sponsors are Council Members Young, Withers, and Pulley. Authorizes Metro Government to abandon existing public sanitary sewer easement rights for property located at 1340 Plum Street. Item number 12, Ordinance Bill 2023-1878, the sponsors are Council Members Evans, Withers, and Pulley, authorizes Metro Government to accept new public water main and fire and assembly for two properties located at 5770 and 5772 Old Hickory Boulevard, also known as Oslo Hermitage. Item number 13, Ordinance Bill 2023-1881, the sponsor is Council Member O'Connell. This authorizes Cannery, which is spelled C-A-N-N-E-R-Y, Owner LLC, Cannery Owner Investment One LLC, to install, construct, and maintain encroachments in the right-of-way located at 521A 8th Avenue South and 1 Cannery Row. And that brings us to the conclusion of our consent agenda. Vice Chair Rutherford, can I call on you for a motion? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move approval of the consent agenda. Thank you. Is there any discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Any opposed, any abstentions? Great. So this leaves us with item number one. And so this is uh, ordinance number BL 2023-1880. The sponsors, count, sponsors are council members Roten and Withers. This adopts the 2023, 2024 through 2028, 2029 capital improvements budget for the Metro government uh, as the official capital improvements budget of Metro government for the fiscal year 2023 through 2024. Um, Vice Chair Rutherford, if I could get you to make a motion and this would be to approve and to re-refer to our committee for the meeting that will take place on June the 13th. Uh, I move approval uh, with a re-referral to committee on June 13th. Great, um, is there a second? We have a second, any discussion on that? All in favor, please say aye. Any opposed, any abstentions? Terrific, thank you everyone. I believe that that concludes the business of the Planning and Zoning Committee.